you're watching JD's Variety Channel. Okay guys, so I recently just picked up this vintage piggy bank, which I estimate from the design is probably from around the 1950s. And you can hear, there's, sounds like there's some coins in it. And that's the reason I bought it, it's because it has coins in it, but yet um, the, the owner did not have the key for it and they did not put the coins in here um, so I'm not sure how old they're gonna be you can see this has been around a while has a lot of the paint chipped off of it um, I tried to use a lock picking kit on this but I couldn't quite figure it out I'm gonna have to um, do some more practice on some different types of locks now on this back part here I bent it back a little bit to see the lock so I can see where it's kinda um, locked up on the edge there so I'm thinking if I bend the other side over and pull it down I'm thinking it's gonna pop off so we're gonna go ahead and do this live and see what's in there sounds like a few coins that would be awesome if they're silver so let's try to try to get this open and that's sturdy Got that up a little bit. There we go. You can see I released this little lock here. It was holding it down in, so I should be able just to pop it out now. There we go. What do we got in here? Well, it appeared just to be two nickels. 1981 and 1979. Well, they're pretty close to the same year. They could have been down there since the 80s, but I'm not really sure since the story of this bank had seemingly been lost as it was passed down. But that was pretty cool anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure there's no paper money up in there. Uh, it doesn't feel like it. Like, comment, and subscribe.